I went to uh, Gilgal uh, Sculpture Garden last uh, Sunday, and uh, it's a very cool park. It's in Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, they have the history, as I understand it, is there was a mason, a uh, rock mason, stone mason, I suppose, and uh, he, in his backyard, did some extra masonry work for himself, and so he uh, would etch in stone, carve different uh, scriptures or um, quotes that he found meaningful to him, and uh, he, you know, artistically did his backyard with various um, really works of art. And one of them that caught my attention was was just a huge rock um, at the at the top of this small hill. I think it's the biggest rock in the the whole you know backyard. It's not that big, and uh, it said, "After becometh a builder, tell him I too have known." I thought that doesn't make any sense at all. That's no quote that I've ever heard of. Uh, there was no citation. So, luckily, for uh, me nowadays, I was able to just quick pull out the old Google, and uh, I quickly found out it's a snippet from a poem. And uh, I read that poem, and, and I liked it a lot, and so I decided to uh, record it and share it here. Um, I'm going to put, I'm going to see if I can put a little flag so you can just skip this intro, because it's long and boring, and I always skip the intros. So if anybody actually watches this, Say something in the comments and click subscribe below or above. Or That's what everybody says. I don't actually care because if you subscribe, you actually won't get any more videos from me for probably ever. <laughs> Here goes the show. When I was a king and a mason, a master proven and skilled, I cleared me ground for palace such as a king should build. I decreed and dug down to my levels. Presently, under the silt, I came upon the wreck of a palace, such as a king had built. There was no worth in the fashion. There was no wit in the plan. Hither and thither aimless, the ruined footings ran, masonry brute mishandled, but carven on every stone. After me cometh a builder. Tell him, I too, have no. Swift to my use in my trenches, where my well-planned groundworks grew, I tumbled his coins and his ashlers in cut and reset them anew. Lime I milled from his marbles, burned it, slacked it, and spread, taking and leaving at pleasure the gifts of the humble dead. <laughs> yet I despised not nor gloried, yet as we wrenched them apart, I read in the raised foundations the heart of that builder's heart. As he had risen and pleaded, so did I understand the form of the dream he had followed in the face of the thing he had planned. When I was a king and a mason, in the open noon of my pride, they sent me a word from the darkness. They whispered and called me aside. They said, the end is forbidden. They said, thy use is fulfilled. Thy palace shall stand as that other's, the spoil of a king who shall build. I called my men from my trenches, my quarries, my wars, and my shears. All I had wrought I abandoned to the faith of the faithless years. Only I cut on the timber, only I carved on the stone. <laughs> After me cometh a builder. Tell him, I too have known. <laughs>